I said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. You know, we got to talk about what happened Sunday afternoon at the United Center between your Milwaukee Bucks and the Chicago Bulls. This was another great performance by your Milwaukee Bucks. Great defensive performance. Uh, they played really well. There was a couple defensive lapses, but for the most part, this was a very, very well-played game by the Bucks. Our adjustments to DeRozan still held strong in uh, Game 4 as well. So uh, I have nothing but praise for the Milwaukee Bucks. And before we get into it, I was too charged. Comment, like, subscribe, share the content. Y'all know the deal. This is a next man up philosophy we got with the Bucks. People thought we were going to be in all types of trouble with Middleton down. And we've seen that we have a good bench. Let's not sleep on our bench. Let's not sleep on some of our role players. We have some really good players that can step up as needed. And all this does is it might be a blessing in disguise Middleton's injury because it allows our depth to get more playing time and get things going. I'm um, hopefully Connaughton can get it going eventually because he's really been timid and not his usual aggressive self since he's not been hitting threes. But he needs to get back into it offensively. But the man that we need to talk about before we get into these numbers, Grayson Allen. He's out there shooting like KD used to shoot. That was wrong, wasn't it? Applaud me. He is literally public enemy number one in Chicago, and he gave them smoke in back-to-back -back games. I mean, real smoke. You know what? Without further ado, let's get into these numbers, y'all. Bucks annihilate the Chicago Bulls on the road 119 to 95 that's a 24 point beating this game was uh pretty much decided in the second quarter but let's go through this uh Giannis Groundhog Day 32 points 17 rebounds 7 assists two blocks four turnovers we still want to get that down but Giannis played a fantastic game he, had, he hit free throws, uh, 17 rebounds, 7 assists. That's just crazy, 32 points. I mean, to a regular human basketball player, these would be outstanding numbers. This would be like, oh, at the top of Sports Center For Giannis, this is regular. I I mean, to be real, this is regular. 30 points, 17. It's expected at this point. And, and – I love to, to expect those type of numbers from our All-Star, from our MVP, from our Finals MVP, from the best basketball on our planet, best basketball player on the planet as we speak. Outstanding performance. Bobby Porter's being Bobby Porter's double-double machine, 14 and 10. Holiday had a bounce-back performance, uh, plus 23. The highest plus total on the team next to Grayson Allen. Or with Grayson Allen, he had 26 points. And my favorite, he only had two turnovers. Only two. Five of eight from three. Uh, Holiday played a great game. He played a great game. Uh, and then Wes Matthews, uh, his defense was ferocious. Just ferocious defense. And the man that we need to talk about, Grayson Allen. He played 28 minutes and got 27 points. Six of seven from three, ten of twelve from the uh from the field, one of one from the free throw line, three steals, no turnovers. <laughs> Grayson played amazing. He's been the difference maker uh, since Middleton has uh, been hurt uh, on these two road wins. We need Grayson, even when Middleton comes back, to have this same type of aggression. Because he clearly has it in him. When he's getting the looks, he clearly can do what he needs to do. I really think that, like I said, a blessing in disguise for certain players. Like, this is giving Grace and Allen time to get into the groove. And we're going to need him against Boston. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that the series is over, but I'm just saying we are the Bucks and defending champions. I should be able to speak like that. That we'll need him to be playing at this level 
against Boston. We also need Connaughton to get his confidence back. And I still want to see War get some minutes. I really like War. I think he's a very explosive offensively. So I do want to see him get more tick. And I like Javon Carter's uh, tenacity on defense. He's really a dog out there on defense. The Bucks have the Bucks should have never coughed up that game. That they came, they should have just never coughed up that that game too. That was ridiculous. This series should be over. They extending it one more game than they need to, but it's it's cool because it'll be at home, so they can right the wrong from the last home game. So I'm looking forward to the Bucks closing out the Chicago Bulls this coming Wednesday at Pfizer Forum. The home of your defending champion, Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, I forgot to go through their numbers like it even mattered. They got blown out. But uh, uh, Williams played well, 20 points. Uh, DeRozan had 23. Uh, Zach Levine had 24. So there's no excuses. They're stars for the most part besides Vukovic played well. And then they got extra bonus from Williams playing well. So there's really no excuses. Uh, the Bucks have championship pedigree and that uh, just like i told you that changed this team we're just on a different level than some of these teams and like the bulls we're on a different level and i think we're on a different level than the celtics as well and i think they will show you guys that once middleton comes back and i hope middleton while he's watching on the sideline is paying attention of how to pass appropriately because his passing is absolutely atrocious i'm not gonna let that go ever until he makes improve middleton anytime he has the ball and initiating offense when we're in five serve, everyone gas. You know why? If he's not initiating to make a shot for himself and trying to distribute, it always is in some weird, obscure pass. It's just, I don't want it. Middleton, stick to, you stick to dribbling to get yourself a shot. If somebody needs to make a pass, you give it to somebody like Holly. I don't trust him 100%, but at least give him the ball. Let him make the entry pass. Your passing is awful. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Buck shot 50% from the field, 50% from the free throw line. I mean, 50% from three-point line and uh, 66 from the free throw line. But they only they missed six, but only took 18. Uh, again, holding them to nothing. 40%, less than 40% from the field, 25% from three. Buck's defense has been tenacious. It's just really been tenacious. I got to give them credit. After uh, the dummy made the adjustment uh, on DeRozan, uh, we've been playing well, so hopefully this follows suit going into game five at five serve this Wednesday. I'm making this video way too long. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Go Bucks, go. Gone.